After eight years of being on testosterone, I can say that the excitement of the transition kind of fades away a little bit, and actually sometimes I forget that I'm trans. I mean, besides the fact that I do this work for a living, but in my day-to-day -day life, I just feel like Ryan doing my own thing, and I don't really have that reminder again of being trans until it's time for me to do another injection. And being a guy that has been doing intramuscular injections or injections in the thigh for a long time, I never really look forward to that. Uh, there's a couple of things that I've noticed people asking questions about. Their fear of the long-term health effects of being on testosterone and uh, wondering if they can do different types of injections. And I can say with research and what I'm seeing is that more and more providers are starting to prescribe what's called subcutaneous injections where you do the injection underneath the skin so that you no longer have to worry about going into your muscle and the development of that scar tissue. Uh, so it's one thing I encourage you to ask your providers about. The other thing when we look at long-term health effects in the past I wasn't really able to answer that because we didn't really have any research on looking at that. But just recently I've, I found some new research that shows uh, on a short-term short, short -term basis, so looking at people for being on hormones for over a year, they have seen no adverse health effects uh, from being on hormones, which is a good thing. And I truly believe that that will continue to be the case. So if you're worried about your health and being on hormones, I think, again, it's important to talk to your doctor about that and what your worries are, uh, then to explore uh, if you have anything that's causing any health problems. But otherwise, have peace in knowing that the research is showing that there aren't long-term health effects. And the people that I know aging, including myself, uh, with the gray hair and going up there in years now, getting closer to 40 every year, uh, what you notice is that people are living happy, healthy lives and continuing on their hormones. So take some, um, take deep breath on that and continue moving forward in your own transition.